All right. I did mention to him. Okay. That's okay. okay. I, just, I just pressed record over to you, Terry. All right. And, Thank you. And wish you all a great meeting. Thank you so much, Angela. Have a good week. Thanks. You too. Thanks. Okay. Welcome everybody to another public art commission meeting. This is the January 17th meeting. Um, I'm going to read our fun script that we read at the beginning of every meeting. Um, in light of the ongoing COVID-19 coronavirus outbreak, then Governor Baker issued an emergency order on March 12th, 2020, allowing public bodies greater flexibility in utilizing technology in the conduct of meetings under the open meeting law. Pursuant to chapter 20 of the Acts of 2021, this meeting will be conducted via remote means. Members of the public who wish to access the meeting may do so in the following manner, by clicking on the Zoom link. This recording is uploaded to the town's YouTube channel promptly after the meeting. No in-person attendance by members of the public is permitted, but every effort is made to ensure that the public can adequately access the proceedings in real time via technological means. And also this will be posted to the town's YouTube channel shortly after the meeting. Um, so roll call, I, I see you all on my screen. So Robert is here and Tom is here and Mikey is here and Lori is here and I am here. Jim cannot make it. Um, I'm not sure where Dara is. Uh, we could wait a few more minutes to see if she's gonna be popping up. Um, if anybody wants to chat about any, anything else, we don't have a lot of time today. So I do wanna kind of jump right into it, but I wanted to give her a few more minutes just in case. Are, are we a quorum? Well, uh, we're not going to be voting on anything tonight. So uh, right. we are we are a quorum, yep, because we have more right. than four. Right. So uh, if we had to, we could. So we actually are. Um, Lori, everything going okay with you? Haven't seen you for a while. Uh, yes, I'm good. Thanks. Good. No That's basements right. flooding and furnaces exploding on you? Oh my goodness. Uh, no, thank you. <laughs> thank goodness. No, no Robert, hard. my heart is broken for you. That is so yeah, hard. As I said, it could be a lot worse. So fortunately, so was it that your, your basement flooded and the furnace went out? It, the furnace went out because the basement flooded. Unfortunately, the water oh. rose to a level that destroyed an electrical panel on the mm -hmm. furnace. It happened once before a few years ago, that summer, when there was a lot of rain, I think it was 2021. So. Right. Oh. Anyway. Awful. Mm. I mean, that you that beats my problem right now. I've got a bathroom that I thought I was just getting a sink repaired, but now I just don't have a bathroom. It's down to the studs. <laughs> so surprise, you're getting a bathroom renovation. Woohoo! <laughs> That's fun. Uh, anyway, so let's get started. Since I don't see Dara popping up, we'll just kind of jump right into it. Um, I've got my agenda here. Do you all have a copy of the agenda? I can share I have one in front of me. So if you want to share it, that'd be great. Yep, I can do that. All right. I am sharing desktop one. There we go. Thank you. Okay. Can you all see? Yes. Great. Okay. So our first order of business is approval of the December minutes. Did you all get a chance to take a look at the minutes? Mm, no, I actually no. did not either. I've had a really busy week. Um, so um, let's take a moment or two just to kind of see if there's any glaring errors. Um, if there are, we can approve them uh, with changes. Right. Everything here looks correct. Right. Yeah. All right. Um, it, everything looks good to me. Anybody see anything wrong? All right. I'm going to uh, hope somebody will make a motion to pass these minutes. Is there a motion? I make a motion. <laughs> or is it seconded? I second. I'll, I'll second it. Fantastic. Uh, all those in favor of approving the, the December. Aye. 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 Motion passes unanimously. Thank you so much. 
Okay. Um, what would gallery next steps? Uh, actually, can you see? You can't see my face, can you? This is this is terrible. Yeah. I yeah, can we see can. your face. You can. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, so Boltwood Gallery is the next thing on the list here. And uh, to be quite honest, there's nothing to say here. Um, I have not gotten back the forms from um, Dominique. I am going to send her an email letting her know I'll be in town in, Bo in Boston next week. And if she can get those to me, that'd be great. So I'm going to just let that go for now. Um, uh, since there's no more information to give you. But instead, I would like to uh, turn it over to our treasurer because I believe he has a, an update on our balance. So Robert, take it away. I do. I just wanted to ask, uh, on the agenda, there's an item, uh, an update regarding for want of a nail. Is is there any information or? Yeah, I'll get, I'll, I'm going to get to that next. Oh, okay. Yeah. I just passed right by it by mistake. <laughs> yes, okay. um, yeah, so our... Um... Our balance in the account uh, with the town is three thousand six eighty four and twenty eight cents. So uh, three thousand six hundred eighty four dollars twenty eight cents. I did ask about the five thousand dollars that we were allowed to keep from the NIFA Make It Public grant, and I learned that. It is not in our account. It is being managed by the planning department in a separate account. Hmm. So I asked the follow-up question, what is the process um, for us, uh, us being the commission requesting those funds to use for a project? I haven't gotten a response yet. Okay. So was it your understanding that that money was going to the planning department or did you think it was coming to us or had that subject not been discussed? The subject had not been discussed. And to be quite honest, um, if the planning, if the, if the planning, the planners had been able to actually um, walk this project through to its completion, they would, that money would have been appropriately in that, in that box right that would that would be appropriate um but the planner had to leave town and they couldn't replace the planner so it feels like those funds need to be redirected um to us so it, i think i'm going to reach out to paul and see what he says i've asked him before um i'm going to ask paul again about that and see if we can get that adjustment yeah or at least some sort of earmark for a public art project given that was the original intent uh, yes. So I'd... I think if we can, um, maybe if we can come up, if we, if we through uh, through conversation come up with a project that we think would be uh, would use these funds, that I think then we can ask for those in that way. But that seems to be a little bit down the line. I think I'm going to ask the simple question of Tom to at uh, Paul to see where you know how hard that would be to access those funds because I I really don't understand this process. It's a little confusing to me. Uh, anybody uh, the, questions? The, the, the one question I forgot to ask, um, and maybe you can answer. Have we paid um, in full um, for the repair of the uh, Camel? Pile? Yes. Yeah. Yep. Yep. So that, Camel got. Um, I well, my understand. I, he taught. He called me and asked me if I could um, expedite things. And I said, "Well, I can't, but you know, they, they'll get this. This usually takes about two weeks." So I believe that has been paid, um, but I will get back to you about that if if you don't have any any record of that. Do they like give you any kind of like statement when they? Well, I'm I'm going to ask for more detail. I, I okay. she answered the question I asked, which was what was the balance, and so right. clearly I need to ask for more uh, detail. You get to ask the specific questions. I think there so. should be uh, a payment out of five hundred dollars to Kamel. Um, so uh, it looks great. I'm really, really pleased that he did that. And I'm also um, would love to do more collaborations with Kamel. He's a really, really great guy and very talented. So um, that's something I'd like to think about for the future. Anyway. Um, can, I, can I ask a question if we go back to um, the, um, oh, did it come off? It, the boat would, um, like what? I just wanted to circle back. The artist submitted, then kind of disappeared when we met her demands. And well, there was money put aside for that, that we were going to access, but then we couldn't 
So was there, a, was that followed up? And I'm just not sure where we are. So um, we were granted a $1,500 grant from the Amherst Cultural Council for paying uh, for that project. Um, I don't actually know if money changes hands in that transaction. I believe it's just kind of a you're you're you know you're given fifteen hundred dollars. Let us know when you need it. Kind of situation. Um, we didn't use those funds. I told Amherst um, uh, Cultural Council that our project fell through. Um, so oh, my right. understanding is that we just don't get those funds. Right. Right. Um, so they they're not added or subtracted. They just they just don't exist. Is how that usually works out. Okay, and sense? the artist has just kind of gone MIA? The artist is ghosting us, yes. Uh, whatever, you know, I think she, um, I mean, there is, uh, we didn't know what we were doing when we first got that project together. We didn't really have a contract that was something that we could even use in this scenario. Um, we were all so new at this that we didn't know what we were doing. You know, uh, it's 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 no surprise that we had lots of missteps. I, I do take some of that fault, you know, for myself. Um, I still want to reach out to her and see if I can make something happen to get these shadow boxes back. So that's, I'm going to try to do that. Uh, and then we're going to have talks in the future about doing this right and, and putting out a call for art the right way and having the contracts prepared in advance and have the DPW ready and on board right away to get the signage done. All those things that we didn't really know we needed to do, we'll be prepared um, with a little seasoning. I think we're, we're, we're gonna come together a lot better. So I look forward to kind of getting into that in the spring. And uh, Tom and I talked about that, of, of just kind of reigniting this project. I look forward to that. Um, didn't we, we, don't didn't have we funds, adjust, we, didn't we we adjust the uh, contract though to make it more in line with what she had requested uh, in terms of you know periodic payments etc i thought we yeah i did everything uh everything she asked for um i made happen uh through negotiation with the town and we had to wait for the town lawyer to talk to to get back to paul um, he meets to the town lawyer once a week so there was a lot of time in between um, those conversations and he couldn't get it done every week you know it, it took a long time to renew to, to um, review and finalize the contract so um, the things I'm finding move kind of slowly in Amherst um, and I, I'm not used to that I'm used to kind of a faster turnaround but that seems to be the way things are so we didn't get our act together. We should have had the contract ready before we even had the artist, but we were new. None of us knew what we were doing. It was kind of, you know, thrown at us and we were all struggling. So we know better now. Uh, we have a good contract now that we can use for the, for the project going forward. And what, do you have any idea of what, I, why she, you know, it's odd that she hasn't I responded. Don't. I really, I really have no idea. So what I think happened um, is that she, for reasons I don't know, lost her housing here in Amherst. And I think she had to return to her parents who live in um, uh, Cape Cod, which is a really long way away. And I think there were some financial um, challenges that she was facing. And so I think she, she probably just cut her losses and ran because the, the drive back out here to bring us everything back would also be expensive and, and difficult if you're having financial challenges. So I kind of see that she was having some 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 challenges. So I'm 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 gonna be forgiving and you know let her off the hook. <laughs> do do we have correct contact information for her? I have her email address and she hasn't responded to my emails. Um I have a PO box that I can send things, but again, it's not a physical address. So I can send a piece of mail and I can email and I even have her phone number and I've also texted her. So all the the ways I've tried to communicate with her, she has not responded. So, so that's where we are kind of, kind of been ghosted. So, but I'm going to see this as a learning experience and move on. But right? she has been, what, let me just be clear. So she has the actual boxes though, that go to yeah. the, she has and four. In, there's one piece of art installed in the window, and the other four um, she has. So, if we need to remake those, is that a what are they? Uh, they're they're uh, black boxes made out of wood that are custom made for the for the spaces. Um, it's something we could ask DPW to create, but I'd I'd love to get them back instead because I really don't want the expense, you know. 
Okay, they're uh, little wood, bo wood boxes. Yeah, okay. they're just they're like they're just basic wood boxes made out of wood, just to fit right in the window. They slide in, and you can put a piece of art in it. And so, okay, it could be reconstructed. It's not. Thanks. Um, yeah. Anything? Any other questions about boltwood? Terry, I can't remember. So we didn't, or did we make an installment payment to her? We did not. No, we, we did not get to that point because she did not get to the point of signing the contract. She started ghosting us before signing the contract. So okay. we actually have a piece of her art that I would like to return to her. And I'm going to ask if I can make that negotiation of here's your lovely art. Can we please get our stuff back? <laughs> so that's Maybe going to be my we conversation. Could meet, we can meet mid-state somewhere for a... i'll be in boston next week so i thought i would offer her to oh. you know it's a lot closer than than amherst so i thought maybe i could make that happen so we'll see what she says if she if she replies to me i will let you know okay uh let's move on um that's a backtrack to for want of a nail um update okay i wish jim and dara were here because they are the ones who had the challenges with that okay um i spoke with Gigi barnhill of the amherst historical society uh she was one of the ones uh we wanted to contact to make sure this was okay um with mikey's help i i reached out to her and she said that they approve of the sculpture um so i said okay and i tried to bring up the question of um what about these artifacts and she said that's really not us that's a historical that's a historic um commission so Mikey, um, I think Mikey is going to follow up with the historic commission. I don't know if you have done that yet. Um, not yet. Uh, we're wait waiting on another meeting. The okay, biggest so problem. Um, so the one thing I did talk to the woman and they, she's not using the artist is not using any of the original horseshoes. No, she's not. Creating... Those are going in, in the library. Yeah. Right. This is just right. horseshoes from a local stable that. Yeah. Right, right. But um, so the I haven't talked to the commission yet about it, but um, there are some red flags okay. um, with the historical society. So the the issue that and, and this is why we need to talk to the commission is objects that are part of the town should not be taken by individual people. That's what I talked to Gigi about. She didn't seem concerned, which was I was I was wondering about. Well, she did later on. She ah, did. I see. <laughs> okay. So, um, in our meeting, she said, and what we've talked about is objects. You know, if there's a dig, objects are given to the historic commission. They're right. not into an individual home. Right. So interesting. Um, I know a lot of people have given positive thoughts to this whole um thing but um I, I just think there are some issues to it right right totally um, uh, it, it's really interesting when the construction went on and this uh this construction firm just kind of tossed these these horseshoes around and she's there and said hey can I have those and they said sure that seems like a strange thing going on with Amherst construction there should be some more oversight right about right absolutely things <laughs> So in the past, when they uh, when they built the um, the uh, uh, Boltwood garage, mm -hmm. everything that was taken out of that garage came to the historical society. Every Why didn't that every shard. Here? What? It just seems like uh, the town of Amherst kind of dropped the ball when they were doing this well, construction. It's not the town of Amherst; it's the library in North Amherst. They dropped the ball. Okay. So um, to have a private person go in and take the objects yeah, is not the way you do things. No, I didn't think so. And so um, I know Gigi doesn't want to get in the middle of it. It's more towards the historic commission, okay. um, their ruling, but it's, uh, it's a sticky situation. Yeah. Okay. To say the least. Those and are one of the... So the horseshoes would have would be uh, her proposal is that the horseshoes that were found there would be exhibited in the library, right? Yeah. But she wants credit for it all, right? I think she just wants to build a statue. I don't know about credit. Maybe I'm not really sure. Um, I have to look back. Hold on, I have that called up here somewhere. Um, have... my... let's see. Um. 
so it's it's about a blacksmith shop and it should be about the people that worked at the blacksmith shop I, the farms that they worked on that's what i said those people were i know she loves horses right can we go back up to the top of that again yep yep uh the very right. top yeah uh, no just down a little there you go um Okay, so she's gifting the sculpture. Yes, right. Mm -hmm. But she okay. wants our. She wants us. What does she want from us? She just wants public art to approve the project. My only concern is that the um, the stuff that she's taken out of the ground is really historic commission. So that is something I, I, the historical commission needs to kind of rule on and get back to us so that we can pass right, it along. Right. I'm so. sure that she would be happy to um, return those to the town. I, I well, think that I think I think in the long run, what memory. needs to be ha happen with um, when objects are dug up is we we need to come up with maybe the historic commission. And the historical society, um, a policy that might be that's, good. That's a something that's on my radar. Um, Tom and I were yeah. talking about that, and I'm also talking. Um, Angela Mills and I are going to be working on um, more policy and process documents for um, for public art because we don't have anything. And right, um, and it's it's um, we've experienced the dysfunction of the structure of this commission. Um, we've looked back in historical documents on the commission. Tom's done a, a, a deep dive into the history. Um, this isn't the first time that there's been public art projects that have dropped or ever have been, um, public art has been ignored over. And because the reason is that we just don't have a policy. We don't have a process. Correct. Correct. So and we and need there to isn't one that. here. So right. This is something that I'd like to turn some attention to this year. And I've got Angela working on it. Um, we do have um, the Electrify Amherst project is something that actually does follow a process because you have to get the approvals and design board. So it could be kind of a template for what we use going forward. So I'm going to be working with Angela on that and anybody else who wants to be a part of that process, let me know. Um, okay. At the end of this, my hope is to, of course, leave this commission um, with, with some policies and processes in place so that when we have things like this come along, we can we know how to follow it through from beginning to end. Right. Robert? So my, one of my right. questions on this on this uh, exhibit was why didn't they come to us in the beginning? Because there isn't a process. Yeah. They right. went to Amherst Cultural Council and they got an MCC grant. Um, but at that point, why didn't somebody say, hey, you should talk to public art? And it's really right. because of the dysfunction of this of this whole process and, and mm. the invisibility of public art. And there's a reason for it, because, you know, we have we have been ineffectual in the past. So okay. I want to fix that. Uh, and Robert, that's why you say something? For one of a nail didn't come to us, too. Uh, I don't, I, that's my guess. I don't have any, I don't have any, I don't know. I can't read into the past, but that's my assumption. Okay. Robert? Um, I think at a, a meeting last year, probably we started to talk about some planning and to your point process and, um, you know, even going so far as to agree on a, an accepted definition of public art and kind of shaping the mission so that if a project like this is presented, we have some kind of um, criteria, you know, with which to evaluate its appropriateness. I mean, it, um, this seems obviously like a very personal um, project for, for this uh, person. Yes. Um, but the question is whether it would, um, whether it would fit uh, whatever framework we we create to, you know, be obviously uh, somewhat broad. We, I think mm -hmm. we want it as inclusive as possible. But 
again, I, I think defining terms more, and I know that um, I just remembered, I can't remember if it was the last meeting, but the, the, you know, the subject of the strategic planning process came up again. And I just remember Dara said something like, you know, uh, I'm paraphrasing her, but something to the effect of, you know, we just have to do our work, our homework. You know, as I, I think we we do, if possible, um, you know, carve out some time, maybe every meeting to to start the process. It, it obviously is a big a big lift, as they say. But I, I think I think some of the dysfunction, as you describe, some of the feeling like we're not really making progress feels like it's because we don't necessarily have direction um, yes. I don't think I don't think we necessarily know where we're going and I don't you know we know that there are structures in the town that make it difficult as well um, it's a little bit of a disjointed uh, uh, infrastructure but um, anyway so I I would just uh, advocate for making time uh at each meeting to to try to at least start to chip away at, at the bigger issues that's that is the plan robert thank you for bringing that up where um, um where are we on this are we is she waiting for something from us at this point so um let me finish what i was gonna the rest of what i've got here um real quick thank you um, Petra, who is the head of branch services at North Amherst Library, um, approves it and thinks it's a lovely way to commemorate the history of the location. I talked to Pamela Young and Jennifer Moyston from the Department of Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion. They did not seem to have any opinion uh, at all, and they were also kind of unaware of the project, and they had not, as of December 7th, heard from Catherine Stryker, as I had asked her to, to reach out to them. Um, so that's what I have. That's the rest of the information I've got. Um, I've also uh, reached out to Paul uh, Bockelman to get a sense of what Town Hall is thinking and um, where they where they are on their thoughts on the project as well. And also to find out what, at this point, what the role of public art is in this whole process for this particular project. Um, and Paul is incredibly busy and would like to talk to me, but does not have time. So he's going to get back to me as soon as he can. So I'm waiting for that conversation. So that's where that kind of stands right there. Um, so that's why there's really not much else to say until I hear back from Paul. Um, all we can do is kind of talk about it, you know, the progress that we've, we've that where we've come so far and who's approved it and who hasn't. And we don't know what to do going forward. This this project came up when we didn't have a process, and that's unfortunate. Um, but you know, we can't we can't invent the wheel to make this thing to make this thing work to make the the gears turn. So um, all I can do is wait to hear from Paul, and then we'll get back together and talk about it a little more. And in the mm -hmm. meantime, Catherine has not reached out to me. I don't even know if it's necessary to have our approval. That's what I'm waiting to hear from Paul. Well, except um, that it talks about um once i have the approval from the public art commission in the yeah. town of Amherst. yeah so she wants approval so that um once you talk to paul let me know and i'll go to the commission i will at that point yeah. Yeah, and actually go to the commission anyways if you don't mind mikey because i would like to get their input and uh okay we'll have, we'll have that and we'll have what paul has to say and then when we t get together in february or if we might need to call another meeting before then we'll see um, okay. We'll talk about it then when we have more data. Does that sound okay. like a good, good plan? Um, yeah, I just want to note two two points that I'm holding and um, bringing for, forward from past discussions about this project. I think one of two two of the concerns I have um, that I think are relevant to the town and how we represent one is the that um, I think Dara brought up in terms of kind of the safety, you know, aspect of this sculpture and wherever it's located and who is responsible for making sure that it is, um, you know, not only safely installed, but remains kind of there and is, is taken care of as needed. So well, let me address that real quick. Um, and then you can move on to your second point, if you don't mind. Um, so um, the legal representatives in Amherst are responsible for making those uh, decisions and, right. and raising those concerns. 
Um, and also any kind of insurance that would be necessary for the sculptor to erect the sculpture would also be addressed by the town lawyer. It's not in our charter to be concerned about the legal, the legality of that situation. That is something that the town would be responsible for. Right. We're not expected to have a lawyer in our, we just, we happen to have one, <laughs> but we're not expected to um, to be able to, to to speak to that. That is not in our charter. Um, so well, that, that's, that's there's that point. Yeah. Thank you. Sure. For clarifying that. Sure. Uh, what was your second point, though? Um, so it, it, I think then what to what Robert was saying, then, um, you know, what is our responsibility and that we can discuss at a later time, but obviously to, you know, weigh in on the artistic, you know, merit of it and does it fit in with whatever our, you know, definition is of public art and you know, requirements from this commission for what we are expecting, you know, what the expectations are. So that's for a later time, but. Okay. Well, yeah, you have, we'll, we'll, we'll bring this back. We'll circle back to this when we have a little more and more information. Okay. Uh, Tom, did you want to say something? Yes. Um, you know, it, it, it seems to me from just the way this whole thing has flowed but also from the wording she has right here on the web page, where she, she says, once I have approvals from the Par Public Art Commission and the town of Amherst, I will, et cetera, et cetera. I get the feeling that um, at some point she may have asked, okay, do I have the go ahead? And was told, well, hmm, gee, have you talked to public art? Yes. And that was that was only as soon as she even knew we existed. So right. she came to us. So she probably thinks we are the last hurdle to clear on this. <clears throat> uh, the town. Um, well, what does the town know? Who's the town? You know, we think of Paul. Um, he may be kind of stuck where we are, which is with without a process, um, how does he know when is the appropriate time to say, okay, you've checked all the boxes. Right. And this is a go. Uh, so I think uh, I th I think as you've as you've said, uh, Terry, checking in with Paul uh is 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 the vital next step. Oh yeah. Uh, on this um i've you know i started out being you know pretty casual about this oh it sounds like a good idea but um i'm now squarely in the camp that wow there's so many things wrong here and <clears throat> if we if we let this go by well, i don't want to make things sound too dire but uh you know, if don't, never waste a good crisis, <laughs> this is a good time for us to sort out, you know, as we said, to sort out all the things that we've turned up, right? including as, as you and I discussed uh, last week, Terry, even if we had a flow diagram on a piece of paper that we called sort of the, the roadmap to getting your public art project approved, right? That would have things like um, you know, if there's anything to do with history, you need to go and talk to the historical. Yes. And the DEI. Yeah. And DEI. Yeah. You know, and um, if it's going to be a physical object somewhere in the town, well, then you've got to get with public works. Right. About it. So, you know, we could we have all that on one page. And then maybe maybe a last step in that is uh, then. After all this, you come to the Public uh, Art Commission and um, we will make our decision. Yeah, in, in there somewhere is also the design board because they also yeah. need to approve. I haven't process. named every everybody. Yeah, yeah but and even if some... we were to say you, we've checked all the boxes, I think that could be part of the steps that say no, we don't, we don't even yeah. know. So Well, that's why yeah. I said flow diagram because there'll yeah. be different paths through it depending on the nature of what you're doing. If you just want to donate a painting, that's one thing. 
if you want to build a 50 story structure in the middle of uh, you know the town common well there'll right. be a few more that you got to talk to right um last question for you terry when mm -hmm. you when you spoke with um the historical society and when you spoke with the uh, the uh, north amherst um library had they heard of the project before or were you were they just discovering it because you brought it up? Um, so the North uh, Amherst Library, um, I guess, knew about it. Uh, they didn't seem to be to have a lot of information about it. But mm -hmm. Petra says that she thought it was cool, and <laughs> yeah. it, it didn't seem uh, they they didn't seem to be um, decision makers. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, she's the head of the library, but I think that this was something that um, was maybe something that the Jones Library approved of, and so yeah. but they yeah, did. But they did like there. I did ask us. me, yeah. you know, as a mm -hmm. to to like make sure that they were in approve in approval of this, and that's what I that's what I went to go check on. As far yeah. as the historical society, no, Gigi had no idea that this existed. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So um, anything else on this for now, or do we want to table this and we will talk more about this when we have more information? I, I'd say table it. Okay, table it. Let's move along. Um, okay, uh, Town Hall Gallery plans. Um, Black History Month is on. We are going to be proceeding with our plans to have a quote, and I'm going to read this whole thing, a quote, select local African-American history exhibit on display between Oh, sorry, beginning on February 1st. Um, we have an assistant with a project who's completed 11 panels and they're expecting to produce 20 in total. Uh, the IT department, I guess, of Amherst is going to help with the large scale printing. And we have plans to hang the panes on the 30th and the 31st. <laughs> um, Angela uh, have you... said, yeah, I'm one sorry. second, I'll get to you. I, I know you'd, I knew you'd have something to say. Um, Angela Mills said that we might be able to help with the hanging. Um, and uh, this is all coming from Pamela, sorry. Uh, she said, we would also love it if the commission could attend our opening and provide refreshments. So that's the only information I have so far from Pamela about this project, but she said, I'll get more information to you soon. And they're meeting again next week. So, so my plan is to go to that meeting. <laughs> yeah, my plan is to go to that meeting and, uh, have some questions to present to them. So with that, please let me know what information we need to find and I will bring that to her. Um, my have, they looked, have they looked at this space? Uh, I, I will ask. Because I don't know if there's enough uh, space for 20 panels. Okay. That's it might be that they're doing, there's 20 all together to, to, for the three places that are exhibiting and we might need to choose which ones are going where and I'll have to talk to her about okay. that. Okay, okay. Because I think there's enough for 17 panels. Yeah, Terry, it wasn't with varying good. sizes. Yeah, okay. Was she, is she talking, um, my recollection is she was talking about um, works being uh, displayed at the at the library. Right. Some would be at the library, was my understanding, and some would be at Town Hall, and some would be at Amherst College. Mm -hmm. um, but but there, it might be that she's having sculpture at one, and, and some panels at another, and some panels with us. That's what I have to find out. It took her a week to get back to me when I asked this question, so um, I'm, I'm just going to send her an email following up after talking to you with our questions. And then I'll meet, I'm hoping to meet with her next week. Um, she's gonna have another meeting with, I guess, all of the people who are involved. So okay. I'm gonna bring some questions to her. So I'm gonna say, have you looked at the space? There might not be space for 20 here, maybe 17. Right. So right. I'll ask that question. Um, no sculpture. No sculpture. Nothing in 3D. It, only things hanging on the wall. Okay. Okay, have... uh, as for getting somebody there the 30th and the 31st to help. Um, well, I 31st can't if it's after... is when um, Jim's is coming down. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay, so it would have to be the 31st. Right. Uh, 31st is the is the earliest. Right. Um, okay, uh, I, can, they... I know I can be there to help if anybody else can. Yeah, I'll be there. Great. 
Um, and then we also have the next artist going in for March. So I know, we have exciting. it up for the 28th. We'll have it down on the 28th? Yeah. Oh, first, the 28th is the last day of the month. In. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Right. I'm like, wait, the 28th? It's early, right. but that's, you know, February. So who's um, putting up this exhibit? Um, this is, um, I I really don't know the name of the organization. I know is that it it's- Ancestral Bridges? Yes. Well, I think okay. that's part of it. And I need to yep. kind of find yep. out. They they have a gallery space in um, Amherst, in Amherst um, College. Yeah. College. Right. And um, two years ago, they did an exhibit in the um, Amherst Historical Society. That was the beginning of the museum, or the collecting of objects. So awesome. yes, they did a large display in, in Amherst Historical. Great. I'm very excited that we're going to be a part of that. Um, mm -hmm. I really hope that... Um, this will be uh, a collaboration um, that I hope will be something that we do more often. <laughs> right. Um, so we're going to be providing refreshments and attending the opening. Um, and when's so the we'll opening? Find out when that is. I don't know yet. My assumption is the first, but I will have to find out from her. When is the opening? And I'll ask her what kind of refreshments. Right. Um, it's usually on a Friday that we do it. Okay. Well, um, we'll have to find out what day... Yeah, I don't. I don't know. Yeah, because if she we has need a particular to day, in, in, if she has a day in mind, we'll have to kind of probably play loose with that. Right. Um. Any other questions? Not on that. Okay, so I'll have to get those answers, and then we'll talk again. Um. Either actually, I think we might have to have a meeting before February first, so that we can make sure we are on the same page. Okay. We've already uh, agreed to this. Um, I don't. We, this isn't anything we need to no, vote on. This is just um, the details. So, this is already something that's in the works. Um, if you have any other directives or questions you want um, me to ask, you can send them to me in email. Let me know. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Okay. I anyway, I'm really question. excited about that. I, okay, I, I have a question about. Um, does anybody have any artists in mind after April? We need I'm still artists. waiting to hear back from the, I, I have, I've talked to, oh, what is her first name? I'm waiting so to hear back. From, April. I'm, I'm waiting to hear back from a, an artist. Oh, good. I'll, I'll uh, get in contact with her again and see if, see if I can get her to respond. Okay. Mikey is, is the next, is the person whose exhibit starts in. Um, March. In March. Is that, is she running two months? March and April. Yes, March and April. Yeah. They usually yeah. do. So we need, yeah. We need somebody for a May for a May first, right? Right. right. And, okay. and have you received any inquiries through our the submission on the town website? No. And Angela would let us know if we had gotten any too. She's really right. all over that. I also hear that the our very own Mikey Cutting has a uh, exhibition ex exhibit coming up and a an opening, you know, Saturday. Thing. Saturday. Saturday from 11 Pelham. to 1. Yep. And Pelham. Pelham. Yep. Pelham uh, Library. So if anybody has, uh, can can pop in on, on Pelham Public Library on Saturday. I'm not sure I can make it. I've got to work. To, I've got to work that day. But That's I'm right. so excited for you. Very exciting. Well, it's going to be up for uh, the rest of January and all of February. Okay. And you can Great. see um, a hanging system that does not work. Uh huh. Oh. Well, that'll be good for us. We'll take a look That's at that. That's very good. We <laughs> never want this hanging system. Our hanging system in the town hall is ten times better. Fantastic. Well, I'm glad to hear that at least. Well, mm -hmm. but let me. I look tell forward you, to seeing uh, your exhibit. I've seen your stuff at the mill. I think you've got you've got beautiful stuff. Thank you. I um, my sister's artworks in the going in the auction at um, UMass. Oh. I just delivered two two of her paintings to that. Very today. exciting. Cool. And that's the auction for the fine arts um, auction. Okay, nice. Well, congratulations. Thanks. Very exciting. Um, okay, if, um, I am going to, where are we? We're on chair report. We are on chair report. Okay, my chair report. Uh, Tom and I will be meeting with Paul Bachelman and the co-chairs of the Amherst Cultural Council on January 24th. Uh, we're going to be having a conversation about merging our organizations. I expect this to be a constructive back and forth sharing of ideas. 
Uh, to that end, I'd love to hear from you. Any directives or questions you'd like to pose in this process, if you have any. Tom? Yeah, um, I've been doing some, some research on how other towns organize themselves for the kind of the two areas that we're dealing with here. One is cultural events and the other is public art. And there's a big overlap between the two, potential overlap and real overlap. But um, as I've looked around at other uh, towns and cities in the US, you know, by their websites, uh, almost all, I, what I've found is, is that the towns typically have one organization that covers everything that we cover in two organizations. Right. And so that, uh, that I think is kind of a, 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 a fundamental that we can bring to this conversation. We can also point to um, areas of duplication. So for example, our chartering statement says that we will seek funds to promote public art. And of course, C Cultural Council was all about seeking funds. Mm -hmm. uh, they, as a, a local branch of the Massachusetts, you know, the State Cultural Council, they've got, you know, some very well-developed documentation behind that piece of the work, mm -hmm. but um, they also have the latitude to seek other funding. So I think that's one point on which we can open some conversation to see how do we rationalize that and um, how should the town go about having a, an active but well-coordinated means of seeking additional funding beyond that of, of the cultural council. Right. Another another thing that I'm that we found that I found in just looking at uh, the webs the town websites is that uh, the cultural council uh, has uh, probably the best established relationship with the business improvement district. Mm -hmm. I imagine some other departments of the town do too, but uh, that's that's something that they they seem to have in in their court. Um, they also have a relationship with Amherst Media, and seem to be serving as a kind of broker for other town departments that need documentation um, or you know other things that Amherst Media might provide. Now th that's all fine. But it sort of raises the question, we want to be very careful about this, but it raises the question of, well, just what is their charter? And is there anything more than just what's on their website, which basically says, hey, we hand out Massachusetts cultural um, uh, you know, uh, uh, money and doesn't say a whole lot else. And so I think you know, they kind of fill a certain space, what the boundaries of it are, not real clear. Mm -hmm. um, but as we start, as we look at, you know, from our own seat, at the things that we see being needed, um, you know, Cultural Council isn't doing any more than we are on some of the bigger things, like the roadmap. Mm -hmm. And the basic point there would be, you know, uh, ideally, you would think that after Catherine got a grant from them last fall, year ago fall, that they, they would have said, okay, you now have to go talk to public art. Yep. Now, maybe they did. In other towns, that's how that works. Yeah. 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 So, uh, so I think we've got some, uh, we've got some overlap. We have some unclarity about focus and extent of uh, activity expected. And I think, and this is to a very good point you've made several times, Terry, we really need to figure out what we can bring to the table. Right. 
what we can so it doesn't look like we're just trying to uh, take things or point fingers. Uh, we, we want we want to be able to say, okay, here's what here's what we want to be to step up to do. Right. And uh, an easy point there is that our chartering statement, you know, mentions uh, DEI. Mm-hmm. And uh, so that's that's something that's something you know we can talk we can think about making some program for how do we do more than just have that be a check check box uh, as as we as we look ahead you know because we're supposed to promote it we're supposed to be right. something active about that about about how we go how we go about that and there are other there are other uh, phrases in our charter that we should probably discuss in this group mm-hmm. and one of those uh, that comes to mind is to be working with uh, both the town but also with private developers to look for opportunities to include public art yep. in projects that come up um unless i've missed it we don't have a plan for that either don't but it, it's something we can we can say you know it's in our charter and we as the new gang here at uh, APAC you know intend to intend to you know build some some program you know to do these things so i think that's that's a way in which we can say you know we're not just complaining that um, we don't have any space to play yeah that's all good points uh, mm-hmm. I will say, um, from my perspective, um, the, one of the reasons that I'm excited about this opportunity is the proximity to the artists and organizations who are making art, making events happen. Um, I, I I want to be part of that that pipeline. I want to help corral that. I want to help lead that. I want to make meaningful art. Uh, you know, we've got artists who want to say things about climate change and those things go hand in hand. And I would love to be able to shepherd some of those projects through um, and, and make them a reality and also to build an artist network in town so that um, artists can learn from each other and and have a community and, and, and hopefully prospects, you know, like. Those are all things that I, that I want to do as you know as public art is to is to help there be more art in town and more meaningful art. So that's my hope. But um, th- yeah, thank you so much for that that deep dive, Tom. That's really helpful. And I hope the rest of us can kind of you know take a look at this and and look at what opportunities could come up here and also what we leverage, you know, what we bring to the table. Um, and and, and you do look at it, look at our mission. Our mission does give us a lot of, um, uh, it grants us a lot of opportunity to increase, you know, the diversity of artists in our town and and their works. And I think that's a, that's, that's really important. So, um, so yeah, in the, in the coming weeks, yeah. After, yeah. I mean, I'm having this conversation next week, regardless, Tom and I will be in this meeting. But uh, if you have some thoughts to turn toward what this could help, you know, how we can help them and how they can help us, I'd love to hear, I'd love to hear from you. Um, um, do, 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 do. Yeah, I think that was all I had on this subject. Anybody want to add anything else? Uh, Terry, um, going back to Bob's uh suggestion to robert's suggestion um i i'd be willing to commit to for the agenda of our next regular meeting to you know have some materials prepared in advance you know i mentioned that uh that i won't call it a flow chart forgive me people i used to work in it flow charts are good um, okay um that we'll call it a roadmap okay Uh, you know, I'll I'll, I'll produce a, a preliminary sketch of that for you to consider in advance of our meeting and discuss at the meeting. And okay. I can also uh, pull together some fundamentals on definitions and things to help us get to bite off just enough to really get a good conversation opened. I uh, think that's, that's 
And I, I hope to bring some stuff that um, Angela and I, and I are going to work on as well, using some mm -hmm. historical documents about what pro what we've done in the past, what public art projects we have done, and what that process looked like. So we have have an idea of that as well. So I think those things will inform our next steps. Um, anything anybody wants to add? I do have an announcement at the end here. No. Okay. Well, then in. Well, okay, invite public comment. There's no one here. <laughs> no one's in the background there. So um, I'm gonna move on to other business not reasonably anticipated. I have to um, announce, I'm excited to announce that our application for Electrify Amherst was approved and we have been awarded a grant of 850 by the Amherst Cultural Council. So um, this is a, a project that has already been something that we have done before. So there is a roadmap and Angela uh, is gonna share with me what that roadmap looks like. But, um, and that'll be interesting too, from a learning perspective, because we have to get the DB DPW in here and the design uh, committee. There's a lot of different things to that, the working parts that come together. So I'm gonna be talking with her about it and I will bring that to our next conversation. Because 850 will pay for, for putting up a couple of cool utility boxes. Uh, and I think we'll probably add some from our own funds as well. That seems appropriate. Um, so we will give a couple of artists uh, some space, uh, a canvas of a transformer box to make beautiful art in our town. I, I want those everywhere. <laughs> I love those. So um, and that's very exciting. And if you have any locations that you have noticed uh, that cry out for beautiful Amherst art, then let me know. And we will talk about that at our next meeting. So that's exciting. Yay. Thank you, Amos, the Amos Cultural Council. Yay. I actually so just did that. I just the got other thing that was in the news today, Sorry? the other thing that was in the news today is Gabrielle Gould is leaving the bid. Oh, I'm not shocked. She was very, 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 very worked, very overworked, very, very. That's, right. that's big news. Uh, I, that's hard for us because we had a right. good relationship but, going. But she is going to continue working on one aspect. She isn't going to leave the Drake. Okay. She's going to continue with that. But she and somebody else um, did some work and started some other, um, not not the bid, but something else. She okay. has, She's not leaving the town, and she has something else that she's working on. She's also on um, the head of the Amherst Cultural District. So that's that's also a lot of work that she does. That's all volunteer work. So it might be there that she's putting her yeah. efforts she's, into. She's been but a she's part of that too. So yeah. Yeah, there's an uh, there's an article in the um yeah. at the Amherst Indy today. Thank you for sharing that. I'll have to take a look at it. Sure. Because she have... was one of the people that we oh. had talked to about doing arts night. Yep. Yep. So um, she was very excited about that. So we'll have to talk to her, whoever's taking over that position, and see if we can still make that happen. Right. The other thing is, Hope and Feathers is leaving Amherst. I didn't know that. Yeah. Uh, well, that's all stuff I did not know. Thank you for sharing. Sure. Would you link that um, either in the chat or send me an email with that that link to the oh, news yeah. item you saw? I don't. I don't think I get that. Amber Cindy? Sure. Thank you. Well, that is um, all I've got on my list. I think that we've had a lot of good conversation tonight, and I thank you so much for your attention. And thank you always for being part of this with me. I appreciate it. And I hope you all have a good couple of weeks. Um, if we have to meet, we probably need to meet before February. If we can make it happen, I will send out a doodle with some dates um, to have a short uh, meeting to talk about um, Black History Month so we can get some details together so we can all participate. Okay, anything else, anybody? All right, um, I make a motion to uh, end this meeting at 7.01 p.m. Can I get a second? Um, <laughs> second. second. All right, meeting adjourned. Thank you all very much. Thank, Thank you, you Terry. Thank See you, you later. Everyone. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Bye.